Many African farmers have problem with rats and try to do something to control rats. But very often farmers are not happy with the results of their efforts. In this video, we look at the damage rats cause and explain how to control rats effectively and reduce rat damage. There are many different kinds of rats, which have different sizes, colors, and shapes. Some kind of rats are only found in fields, where some of them, such as gables and striped mice, can eat and damage our crops. But other kinds of rats, such as pouched mice, spiny mice, and giant rats are not usually pests. Some animals like shrews and sanges are never pests and should not be harmed. A common pest species in the field, shown here, can follow a food source from the field to the village and invade houses and stores. Others such as the common rat and house mouse live in or near our houses and stores all the time. The rats that invade our homes or live near us all the time eat and contaminate food. Chew through clothes and other belongings. These rats can also even bite people. Rats are hard to control because they move quickly. They climb well. They can make holes in the wood and other materials and dig tunnels underground to find shelter and to get into buildings and stores. Rats are good swimmers, which help them to move between different environments. If they see something new, they will treat it with caution. Rats will quickly learn to avoid anything that poses a threat to them or which they find out causes them pain. As they move about looking for food, Rats can go from dirty to clean habitats, and this is why they all spread diseases to people and livestock. Some diseases are spread when rats' feces and urine contaminate food and water. Other diseases are transmitted when rats sneeze or lick plates and cutlery in the kitchen, and when fleas and ticks they carry bite us and our animals. It is not easy to know if you have a rat-borne disease. The symptoms, for example, high fever, can be similar to those of other common diseases. Killing rats is the usual way to control them, and laying poison baits is a common method we use. However, not all poisons are the same. Some poisons are much more effective and safer to use than other poisons. The safest and most effective poisons are called chronic poisons or anticoagulant poisons. These kill the rat slowly and can work very well. When a rat eats a little of this kind of poison, they do not feel sick. They will therefore come back and eat a bit more, and come back again and eat more, and so on. But these kinds of poison cause the rat to breed internally. When the rat has eaten enough of the poison, it usually goes back to its burrow to die. This is why when you use the anticoagulant kinds of poison, you will not find many dead rats. These poisons are very safe for humans to use because if someone accidentally eats the poison, there is an antidote and there is sufficient time to go for treatment. Another kind of poison is called acute poison. These poisons kill fast and painfully. There are many kinds of acute poisons with different names. Many of them are not intended for killing rats, are sold illegally as rat poison, and are extremely toxic to humans. Though acid poisons are often very cheap compared to the anticoagulant poisons, they do not work well. When rats eat this kind of poison, the rat feels sick immediately, and a few of them are killed on the spot. But because they are cautious, most of the rats will only eat a little, not enough to poison them but even so, they will feel sick. From then on, this means that those rats will not touch the poison again. People like to use acute poison because they are cheap and they seem to work because a few dead rats are found near the poison. But farmers who use acute poisons are wasting their money. As we have seen, most of the rats will not be killed and will avoid the poison. They will quickly breed and increase the rat population. 
acute poisons are also very dangerous because there are no antidotes. If someone accidentally eats this kind of poison, they can die painfully. Let us summarize the use of poisons against rats. Avoid using highly toxic acute poisons. These poisons are not effective and are dangerous to people. It is better to invest your money in buying the anticoagulant kind of poison. The anticoagulant poison will kill many more rats. Remember that all poisons are dangerous. Always put poison beds in containers rather than scattering the bed around on the ground. When the bed is hidden in containers, other animals such as chickens, dogs, cats, and beneficial wild animals cannot eat the poison. Poison beds in containers can also be easily removed. Poisoning is not the only way to control rats. Trapping rats can also work very well. There are different kinds of rat traps and some work better than others. Rat traps can last a long time. Therefore, invest in good quality traps that work well and are easy to set. Dairy trapping by all households in a village is a very good way to reduce the numbers of rats. This is because rats move easily from house to house. So if you only catch the rats in your house or store, other rats will move in from other neighbors' houses or store. But if everyone sets traps at the same time, the number of rats can be reduced and kept down around the village, inside houses, and around food stores and food preparation areas. Stopping rats from getting to stored food and to drinking water and keeping places clean is a far better way to control rats than only spending money on poisons and traps. This is because rats need what all animals need, food, water, and shelter. If these are not easily available, rats will not survive. Look around the community to see what can be done to make it hard for rats to get what they need in our houses and food stores. For example, put food in sealed containers, clean away vegetation from houses, tied up, block up holes in the house around doors and windows, build secure food stores or granaries. Many other animals can kill or chase off rats and keep rats' population low in an environmentally friendly way. Keep cats and dogs around the homestead. Encourage natural predators of rats such as snakes, owls, hawks, and small wild animals such as genets, mongooses, and wild cats. Avoid acute poisons and illegal poisons. They are very dangerous and do not work well. If you have to use poisons, use anticoagulant poisons. Do not spread poison bed around. This is dangerous for people and animals. Put poison bed in containers so only rodents can get at the bed. Trapping rats is a good idea, but make sure the whole community traps rats at the same time. Remember that rats can carry disease, so always bury dead rats and always wash your hands after handling dead rats. Encourage tame and wild predators that can help you control rats.